Hello and welcome to a special edition of Mr Barton's Maths Videos. What I'm going to do in this video is show you how you can actually record your autograph activities or anything else that you may want to record on your desktop and save them in a nice friendly format that you can upload to TES and then TES users can view what you've recorded as a video nice and easily. And we're going to do this using a fantastic piece of free software called Jing. So the first thing we need to do is get our hands on Jing. So if I just go on to Google and if I just type in Jing, um, I don't think I want Jing T, this is the one I want, Jing from the website TechSmith. So I'll just give this a little click and there's lots of great products on here but the one I'm after is the free version of Jing. So if I click on that and then it takes you through how to download it and so on. And when you've downloaded it, if it's all gone to plan, then you get this lovely little sunshine that brightens up your desktop and you can pop in wherever you want. And that's Jing. And he's always up and about and always running and ready to go whenever you need to capture something. So let's create a very quick autograph activity. So I'll fire up autograph. Now what I do when I record my autograph videos is that I reduce the size of the window to 800 by 600 just by dragging, uh, dragging the corner. You don't have to do this, you can do it a bit bigger and a bit wider, but I just find this is the size of window that looks best both on widescreen laptops and the kind of more square uh, desktop versions, but it's up to you. So when you've got the screen the right size and you know what you're doing and your microphone is turned on, then it's time to fire up Jing. So I've just hover up to my little sunshine and there's the capture tool and that gives me a set of crosses. Now, if I want to capture the entire desktop, I just make sure the crosses are on the outside. If I want to capture what's going on in a specific window, again, I just make sure my crosses are there and the bits that are highlighted will be captured by Jing. So that looks like my autograph screen there. So I'll click on that. And then on the bottom, I get a couple of options. I can either capture the image, which means I can take a screenshot of my autograph page, which may be useful for creating worksheets or PowerPoints or something like that. Or this is the one I want today, capture video. So when I know what I'm gonna say, I get ready and I click capture video. It gives me a countdown, three, two, one, and I'm off. And what I'm gonna do is just very quickly just create a few things on the autograph page. So chuck a point there, chuck a point there, chuck a point there. I'll drag around these points. I'll right click, I will group to shape. And there I've got a nice triangle that I could maybe do a little activity on properties of triangles or something like that. And when I've recorded my video, I simply hit stop. And then Jing does its business. I can now play back my video if I want to double check it, but when I'm happy, I simply hit save. I choose a place on my computer to save it where I'm gonna find it. I'll just put it on desktop and I'll just call it something like Jing Practice and click save. And now fingers crossed on my desktop down there is the file I'm after. So now all I've got to do is go to TES and upload that. So I go to the TES website, make sure I'm locked, uh, logged in, sorry, and I go to share my resource. Now it's a file, so that's looking good. It's already selected, choose file. I've just got to find it now. So it was on my desktop and it was there, Jing practice, nice, open that. Whilst that's uploading, I will choose guide and a format of a video. And now I'm going to map the resource to the curriculum. So I think it was a key stage three video. Um, it was definitely maths. And just give TES a second. Sometimes it has to have a good think about this because there's um, with this new indexing system. So just talk amongst yourselves while TES gets ready for this one. So come on, TES, work with me here. Come on. Maths, perfect. Have a little scroll down, geometry and measures, and I think I'll go for something like uh, geometrical reasoning. I'll give my video a title, so for example, Jing Practice. I'll then type, this is a practice video for learning, I know I've missed the w, w, uh, L off there, learning how to upload, put that in there. And when everything's ready and I've checked it, I agree and finish. Now, what's nice about this is Jing does it in a really nice, friendly format where your Shockwave file there is actually available ready to play. So when users have logged in and they access your resource and they read your description, with one click of play, they get a beautiful version. And what I'm going to do is just very quickly just create a few of your video. 
So there you go. So that is how you create um, an autograph activity and record it using Jing. And as I say, you can do that for recording anything that you are doing on your desktop or your laptop screen and upload it to TES or pass it on to students for homework or whatever you want. And Jing is a fantastic tool for that. Anyway, hope you found that useful and I will see you next time. Bye bye.